previously on Thoughts for Your Am. And welcome to GitHub. This will be your repository for, for the tutorials. Please enter the name you want to be known as when you commit to your repository your and the email address commit message would have been pushed to the remote repository. Each file or folder the will list the source tree and click branch. To create a feature in part two, we'll delve into the intricacies of merging branches and resolving conflicts. Additionally, we'll take a glimpse into the typical merge process used in professional settings. Picking up from where we left off in part one, I will demonstrate how to merge the develop branch into our current feature branch and what happens when a conflict occurs. To do this, I will need to commit changes. I have added components to my web page that will add a new footer, as seen here. So, let me save those changes and return to source tree. We can see we have two uncommitted changes, which add the footer to the site. Let's quickly commit them now. Oh, before we do that, if you ever wanted to stage a specific section of the file rather than the whole thing, all you need to do is select the file, select the lines you want to stage, then click Stage Lines towards the top right hand corner. And that's it. You can now see the original file is not completely green as a chunk of it has already been staged. And the staged part of the file only contains the lines selected. Now that has been sorted, let me quickly commit my changes. All right, now my changes have been committed. Let me show you a conflict. It is good practice to resolve any conflicts in your feature branch before placing them up for review, like we're about to do now. First, I will switch to the develop branch by double clicking on it. In source tree, your current branch will always be seen in bold. Once selected, I will click fetch. We can see there is one change that we don't have against our local develop branch yet. So let's pull that down. Now we have our changes, let's switch back to our feature branch. Right click on develop and choose merge develop into current branch and click OK. We have been warned we have merge conflicts. As mentioned in my Git Concepts video, a conflict occurs when you and another developer modify the same area of code and Git can't work out which code to keep. This means you'll need to resolve the conflict yourself. Let's learn conflict resolution now. Close the pop-up and take a look at the uncommitted files. We see two of them are conflicted. By clicking on a conflicted file, we can see that my code added a paragraph with the words, this is a picture. But in develop in the same spot, a change was added to style and properly describe the picture. If we right click on our conflicted file and hover over resolve conflicts, we have some options. Resolve using mine. This will remove all the changes made in this file against develop and keep my changes only. If that is something that's okay for your scenario, choose this option. Resolve using theirs will retain all changes to this file from develop and remove all of my changes. If this is what you need, then select this option. As I want to keep my footer and some of the develop code, let's resolve this manually. To do this, I'll go back to Visual Studio Code where my project is and look up the conflicting file. We can now see the conflicts are highlighted, making it easier to see what the differences are. Head, highlighted in green, are my changes that I made in my latest commit. Develop are the changes from the develop branch that we are pulling in, which is highlighted in blue. To resolve this conflict manually, we need to decide which code to keep. As the develop branch has styled the subtitle and given the picture a more meaningful name, I'd like to keep develop's changes in this conflict. I will start by removing my changes as well as the conflict marker for the head. Then I will get rid of the conflict marker for the develop branch. We can now resolve this conflict directly by clicking Resolve in Merge Editor. It will then show us a quick summary of what we had and what we decided to keep. Click Merge Complete on this page to finalize the process. Done. Let's look at the second conflicting file now. Here we can see our changes are styling ones for the footer. We definitely want to keep those. The incoming changes are the styling to the subtitle, which we will need to keep also. 
In this scenario, I want to keep both changes. To finalize that, I will just need to get rid of the three conflict markers, like so. Now, if you didn't want to install Visual Studio Code, which comes with these Git features out of the box, you can use any text editor to resolve conflicts now that you know what they mean. If you go down this path, you will need to save your changes to your file and return to source tree, which will still be in a conflicted state. To fix this, simply right click on the file, go to Resolve Conflicts and choose Mark as Resolved and click OK. There we go. The updates from Develop are no longer conflicting with our code anymore, which is great. I'll need to commit these changes, so when I merge my feature branch back into Develop, I won't see these conflicts again. In Source Tree, click Commit. We will see a pre-generated commit message for us, highlighting the formerly conflicted files. This will assist other developers if they ever need to do a quick audit of the code base. So stage all files and click Commit. Now I can push my feature branch to the remote repository, which is typically what happens in a professional environment, so it can be placed up for code review. Let me quickly push up my branch and show you what a code review looks like in GitHub. I'm now back at my repository homepage. Let's navigate to the new feature branch that was just pushed up. We can even see the merge commit from one minute ago, so we know we're in the right place. It even has the conflict message. I'm going to go to the pull request here, then new pull request. I would like to set develop as the branch I want to pull my feature branch into. Like so. Then I will click create pull request. Now, I just need to update the title if necessary and add a description of what was done here. Add components required for a footer. There, now let's create a pull request. And there it is. While the interface will be different depending on where your repository is hosted from, the basic concept is the same. So it shouldn't be too hard to create a pull request a merge request, or even a code review. As there are no rules for merging in my repository, I could merge this straight away. But let's quickly check out the interface where you can review the code from by clicking Commits. We have two here, one containing my first set of changes, the other from merging develop into my feature branch and resolving conflicts. Let me click on the first commit. I can now see the two files I updated and what changes I made. If you were reviewing the code and found an issue, you can click on the plus button on the line in question and leave a comment. If I was a real reviewer of the pull request, I'd have the power to approve of the branch to be pulled into develop or reject the pull request as I see significant issues with it and request changes. But as I'm the author of the code and not the reviewer, I cannot do either. But what I can do is merge the feature branch into develop from here by returning to the conversation page and scrolling down to merge pull request then confirm the merge. If there were any restrictions on the develop branch, I would not be able to do this so easily. But seeing as this is my own repository without rules, it's fine. Always be sure to delete your branches when you're done with them, such as the feature branch we just merged into develop. And there we have it. We can now see all the commits from our feature branch are now in develop. And that was the final part of a beginner's guide to Git concepts with GitHub and Source Tree. I hope you found this helpful. If you did, feel free to leave a like or let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. Until next time, this is Micro, logging out.